where the Pacific Ocean meets the Coquille River, the beauty of sea stacks and offshore rocks belie one of the more treacherous river entrances on the coast. The Coquille River Lighthouse, with its octilateral signal building and 40-foot tower, stands guard at the river mouth near the resort community of Bandon. was built in 1896, a time when the lumber mills and shipyards abandoned were booming. The stuccoed brick lighthouse, with its fourth order lens, originally sat on a small rocky island connected to the mainland by a wooden footbridge. The completion of the North Jetty at the turn of the century connected the Sentinel to the mainland. Even with the beacon in place, many ships came to ruin trying to cross the dangerous bar at the entrance to the river, some nearly plowing through the small lighthouse. For 40 years, the abandoned lighthouse kept its beacon shining and its foghorn guiding boats through the narrow channel. In 1936, a devastating forest fire swept into town, charring everything in its path. The residents fled their homes, heading for the beach and the river. Some even sought shelter in the concrete safety of the lighthouse. When the flames were finally extinguished, only 16 out of 500 buildings remained. The town of Bandon went bankrupt. A decrease in ship traffic after the fire caused the lighthouse to be closed in 1939 and it sat abandoned for half a century. In 1991, volunteers relit the lighthouse, this time with a solar power lens. The abandoned lighthouse is now on its way to a full restoration. During the holiday season, the revitalized town of Bandon celebrates by wrapping their beloved sentinel in lights. The diminutive lighthouse at the entrance to the Coquille River is a favorite subject for artists and photographers. And thanks to the dedication of many abandoned residents, it will remain a prominent landmark for the future.